So this is the i9 12900KF. Uh, I also have an i9 12900KS and the i9 13900KF. Obviously doing this one quite a bit late in regards to uh, those other ones. But um, let's go ahead and check out what we have here. So you see the i9 12900KF. Assuming your monitor's big enough. If you're looking at this on a cell phone, good luck. 32 gigs of RAM. This is my Aris RAM. It's at uh, 5200 megahertz. And we previously did this with uh, 4800 megahertz, 16 gig. So you would hope that this would be better. Uh, the graphics card's the same. And this is on uh, one of my favorite motherboards, my Aris Elite AXC690. I uh, like it so much. I may buy the Z790 at some point, but uh, let's clear this out. There should be no overclocks on this or anything. Um, power limit set to unlimited. Otherwise, um, you know, default. This is using the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120. And personally, I'm amazed at these temps with this thing um, you know at this at this point pretty impressive I bought uh, three more thermal right CPU coolers to try out for the channel should be getting them within a week all right let's go ahead and benchmark this so previously did one run with this let's see if we get the same score so you at least see 8947 as one attempt XTU is not very consistent and probably not really that great for running benchmarks, but I always start this way because I'm going to use their charting ability down below for the other videos. All right, so 89.25, relatively close to that. And, of course, you could obviously see Max Temp was there. Um... This is the one I like to show, so you can get an idea. 172. So the TDP on this cooler, which I don't know offhand, is probably you know somewhere 200 watts or higher, right? So not bad. All right, let's find. Uh, I've got to look for it. My. Cinebench R20. Some people have asked why do I still run Cinebench R20? Well, historical, right? You got all the history with the other ones. All right, I don't know if there's any scores on here because it's pulling it from another uh, drive. But you do see the i9 12900KF that I previously ran, actually 9989. So let's run it again. And I will tell you, um, if you were thinking about buying this processor, you might want to go for the i7 13700KF uh, just because it's does score higher in this and probably better for gaming overall. Um, Price-wise, you'll probably get them relatively uh, close in price these days. And it's kind of cooler. Cool, obviously, to have an i9, right? Uh, so we have 10,320. So the RAM did make a difference here, potentially. All right, so we got to let this cool off. And I did not remember to clear this out. But uh, we'll just run this over. You can see this got closer to 200 watt TDP. And let's check the temp that we saw. That's a new high there, 74. I'm going to clear this out for Cinebench. R23, that is. So that thing's already dropped down. Amazing. Um, I don't think this could handle the i9-13900KF, but you never know. All right, so... Let's go drop over here to documents. Uh, 
That's where I got my Cinebench R23. This does not show the preview score. Folks, it should be, um, at least in this, it'll end up ranked number two, most likely. Let's go ahead and run it. And then we'll drop back into this so you guys can follow along. This may get over 200 watts. Yep, there it is. And the temperatures will be slightly higher than previous. But nowhere near thermal limit throttling, which is awesome. No issues with power limit throttling. Now, this motherboard does have a 1x8 and a 1x4 CPU power connector. And we are not inside of a case either, right? So, um, you know, potentially the temps are going to be lower because of that. All right. So, let's just check this before we go. 76 watts. Highest temp, 201, so still handling it. Now our score, 27073. Wow, folks, so that that uh, makes this pretty much a draw as far as this goes with the, um, the i7-13700KF. That's about what it's going to score. So, hey, thanks for checking out my video. Um, this was uh, significantly better than the same benchmark with the slower RAM, just so you know.